Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. One device, three names and today we are going to cover Pixel Extended UI. This is a custom ROM that I've recently installed and these are the initial impressions. So before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other with similar devices so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash. let's get going All right, so what do we have here? Pixel extended, it's Pixel's perfection. Version 3.0 official, Android 11 updated on the 18th of August, that's just yesterday. Now, if you have a look at the device change log, let's click open over here. Full trees rebased to the latest of framework underscore res, upstream contact kernel. These are the flash instructions. You can go ahead and pause the screen and follow the flash instructions. You're not gonna look at them. Now, note says G apps included for flashing instructions. See de device change log. Nothing much mentioned over there, right? So let's go ahead and talk about this particular ROM, which I've been using since morning. And as most of you know, this particular device, the Mi 11X, is my personal device these days. So the reviews or impressions on this device are a little more accurate compared to these because I have to dive into those devices, but not this one because I'm using it anyways. All right. So you're greeted with a pixel extended r you know wallpaper with a very very clean ui and a very very smooth app drawer so pretty pretty neat there uh, sort of squircle design when it comes to the quick tiles at the top and to the left you do have your google discover which is something really really neat and if you have a look the animations of the app icons is pretty amazing now it, it really, you know, most of the people keep telling me on the channel in terms of comments that uh, almost all the custom ROMs are the same and uh, there are some feature changes here and there. Not exactly. The smoothness on custom ROMs is different. For example, you know, the animations are something that really, really make a difference to me. So if you have a look over here, the animation is so subtle, so beautiful. No matter how many times you keep doing it. Although I have kept the device to 120 hertz always. And if you do it during a day, it will go ahead and sort of eat up a little more battery than it would normally from, you know, if you would have kept it to 60 to 120 hertz and stuff like that. So that's what you have on the home screen. Very, very few applications, not a lot of bloatware, right? So let's go to the launcher settings. And if you go to about, this is your pixel launcher. So all the basic options are available there. And if you go to quick tiles and edit them, you do have ambient display, caffeine. Then you have a heads up, which would be very, very useful in gaming. You have the compass quick tile, sound search and moto audio. So that is something really, really nice. Moto audio, smart audio. So basically moto Dolby is present in this particular ROM. And if you click on next, continue, you do see that it has a lot of customizations and you can go ahead and customize the equalizer, sound virtualizer and volume leveler as well. So pretty, pretty neat addition. And apart from this, this ROM does ship with Google camera. There you go, Google camera go. It is working perfectly fine, no issues at all. So, you know, I think all the custom ROMs, if they start supporting uh, Google camera go, it would be really, really nice. So let's quickly go to settings over here and let's go to about phone and the Android version. So a very, very neat pixel extended animation there. Android version 11, extended version three. Security patch is the 5th of August, 2021. And the kernel is the Quantic kernel. So something pretty, pretty neat there. And over here as well, you have very, very good animation. So if you go to any settings for that matter, you have animations at the top. Now, another, you know not a usability feature but it really really differentiates itself from other roms because these animations do add to the flair of the you know customization or the look of the rom now you do have something called as pixels den over here right so this is you know it sort of feels like pixel experience on steroids correct me if i'm wrong so you do have system lock screen status bar and hardware so again, you know, they have given you customization a little more than Pixel, but a little less than some leading custom ROMs out there. So you do have 
G visual mod status bar height rounded corner so that is that vibrate to indicate call status notification sound effective heads up wake on plug now if you go to lock screen you have lock screen clock style ton of options there display music visualizer lock screen charging info tap to sleep and network traffic monitor you can enable it in quick settings so bytes bits you have that amount of customization as well 4g icon show notification count tap to sleep you do have a lot of clock customization options as well battery style quick si quick settings battery estimate is there as well so as i said you know you do get some customization over here and then if you go to hardware you have navbar navbar gesture customization haptic feedback advanced gesture actions so you can go ahead and customize that as well advanced restart long press for torch volume panel style you do have a ton of options over here and you do have some other options like reorient buttons or click to partial screenshot and stuff like that so the customization is there in this particular rom you you cannot say that the customization is not available and the look of this particular rom is pretty pretty decent another thing that i noticed over here that in battery you do have thermal profiles now as you can see and you do have additional options like enable game mode touch response touch sensitivity touch resistant area and stuff like that now if you ask me about the battery life for me it's a little early but in my opinion the battery life has been pretty pretty decent the charging has been working just fine for me last full charge was 2 hours back and the screen you just use it since then has been 1 hour 70 min 7 minutes and still we have around 80% battery so it will give you good screen on time the ui is pretty pretty smooth especially when you keep it to the entire 120 hertz mode as i did it works absolutely fine now moving on let's have a look at the benchmark numbers before we actually go ahead and conclude this particular video so the first thing that we will check is the cpu throttle test all right so something that is not that splendid because the cpu did throttle to 80% of its max performance but the average score was 231203 gips so not good not bad some throttling detected and in geek bench we did get 962 and 2793 so the benchmarks are pretty much there the ui is pretty much smooth and i think the gaming experience must be pretty pretty decent as well apart from this other aspects like safety net for example it passes out of the box so you will not have any issues and drm info states that it does have l1 certification So this particular UI or this particular ROM Pixel Extended R is working pretty smooth. You will not have any problems, and you can go ahead and try it as a daily driver. And let me know in the comment section if you found any bugs or not. For now, let me know if you liked this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.